one of the most common questions we get and one of the myths we'd like to debunk right from the beginning is where do you get your protein on a plant-based diet? And we remind patients that, think about it for a second, a lot of the animals that we traditionally eat for protein actually got their protein from plants. So animals can't create protein out of nothing or de novo as we say in medicine. So they have to get it from plant-based sources. So all protein comes ironically from plant-based sources. When an animal eats a plant and absorbs the protein, the same principles will apply to when humans eat the plants. Uh, the protein is available for absorption and uh, there's, no, there's no risk of a protein deficiency on a plant-based diet. In fact, protein deficiency is not seen clinically at all for a number of reasons. One is that there's protein in plants and in just about every food. And the other reason is the body is so, the human body and mammals in general, their bodies are so efficient at uh, conserving protein. So unless I created some strange diet for you, like fed you Coca-Cola and kept you in a phone booth for three weeks, uh, only then would you become protein deficient. The other thing is that people say, oh, you know, I'm getting older and my muscles are weaker and I'm going away to nothing, I must be protein deficient. No, uh, generally as you get older, there's a couple of reasons for that as well. As you get older, sorry to say, after age 30, we tend to use, lose uh, one or two percentages points each year on muscle mass. And then the other reason we tend to lose muscle is because we tend to do less resistance exercise and less exercise in general as we get older. So a way to counteract reduction in muscle mass as you get older is increase your resistance exercise. Try to do more weight bearing exercise and try to eat a diet that's the most healthy for you, which is a diet predominantly focused on plants.